my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is does Jupiter, Moon, Ganymede have an atmosphere? So it has an exosphere and an exosphere is something that when an atmosphere is too uh, thin means that it doesn't have enough density to be actually called an atmosphere, we call it an exosphere. And anything that, any uh, object that has uh, gases bound to the object uh, we call that an exosphere. So if the gases are bounded to the object, it's an exosphere. Um, so what's causing this exosphere? So Ganymede is quite small, but it actually has a magnetosphere. And this is important. Uh, magnetosphere. So the magnetosphere is the area surrounding the object that is uh, charged by the, the, by the object's uh, magnetic field. Uh, so when you have the uh, molecules from the magnetosphere traveling really fast, it can occasionally hit the surface and it kind of disintegrates the, the molecules and it will pop oxygen out of the high, uh, high speed magnetosphere molecules will actually disintegrate some of the surface molecules and it will cause this like um, sort of um, grouping of, of um, disintegrated molecules around the actual moon. Uh, now that it's a very tenuous atmosphere of oxygen and the reason we know this is because we see like an air glow of atomic oxygen and this is how we know that it has an O2 exosphere. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the Scandamede have an atmosphere.